Recycling's life. <laughs> I don't know how many times have I said this. Hundreds. If somebody would have asked me, like, why do you cycle? Like, what's the reason and motivation behind your long ass rides? Why do you do it? I don't know. I can't give a specific answer, like, what actually draws me into the sport. Like, I can certainly say that it's not just about, you know, fitness and, I don't know, working out, exercising. That's not what cycling means to me. Like, first when I got into the sport, it was like, two years ago because I got drawn to this lifestyle by the you know health and athletic aspects of it all uh, my biggest influencers were and still kind of are you know <laughs> the high car vegan cyclists in one word that would be during rider <laughs> so back then cycling was the best exercise you know the best way to move your body so I just got into it I first started with a mountain bike later on I got inspired to get a road bike which was the best decision that I have ever made in my life and I feel like a lot of things change since because I no longer see cycling as an exercise I do not see it as a workout working out by itself sounds like a dreadful thing to do you know nobody enjoys doing it it's horrible it's painful but it shouldn't be like that it should be something that you enjoy doing because I love traveling and seeing new places just exploring the hell out of everything I feel like cycling is just the very best way to do it like I totally despise cars and everything that has to do with them because I feel sick riding them it's, it's just a horrible experience but when you ride a bike it's like you're moving at a speed where you can enjoy fully what's happening around you you can feel the wind you can feel the sun you can look at the beautiful landscapes and you can enjoy it at the present moment like no other sport can give you this like when you're running you're pushing yourself running is just too slow for me when I try to push myself it's like you kind of shift your focus from the surroundings and you focus on yourself like it's painful it's getting harder and harder and you're struggling but when you're cycling you can just you know switch up the speeds and it's not hard to go fast I also love it because it's just you when your bike and the road and everything depends on you <laughs> where you want to go what you want to see like you never know what's going to happen that's also a thing like there's no guarantees when you're cycling because the environment is constantly changing and you're just out there there's no wall between you and the nature and the surroundings like you're not in a box like a car driving somewhere like driving is kind of different because you're just doing it to get somewhere but when you're cycling, you're enjoying every single moment. That's why I also feel like it teaches you so freaking much. Like, not only about yourself and your limits, like, it teaches you about people, about the environment, about everything. <laughs> because every single ride is a different experience. Like, for example, this summer I went touring with my friend and before that I did a 300k ride. And I thought that, you know, going out there for a day just riding will make me kind of get away from society, just be alone with my bike and the road ahead. But it ended up being the most social thing I did like the whole summer except, you know, the work that I did. It's like people are curious, we are curious creatures and everybody wants to, you know, ask you questions. Where are you going? And you meet like-minded people on your way and people tell you these stories and how they feel and why they're passionate about it you can connect with them you can find like-minded people that way like it's it's fun to ride alone and explore but you know riding with someone it's it's so easy especially if you're going for fitness it's always more fun to do it with somebody that shares your passion and you know pushes you to become better i think the main reasons why i love cycling so much would be solitude being present experiencing every single moment to the fullest speed, exploring, um, not knowing what's going to happen next, and annoying car drivers, definitely. <laughs> For me, it's not about where you're going, what road are you taking, you know, is it gravel, is it concrete, is it whatever, man. Um, it's not about what bike am I using, like even though I hate mountain bike, <laughs> you get used to it when you're touring. It's not about what weather it is, it's not about how fast or how far am I going, even though I really love going really far. That's not something that I focus on, like it doesn't really bother me, where am I, <laughs> what am I riding, how long am I riding, um, it's just about being there, just doing it. You know being in the present moment and that's why my mom always like asks me like why are you doing this like why are you going on a 100k ride 
because I want to. Like, I I think I have reached a point where it doesn't matter like how far am I going and how long am I doing it. I can do it easily because it's not hard. Like nutrition definitely has a lot to do with this, but otherwise it's just my crack, man. <laughs> it's my drug of choice because the longer I spend being in the state, just cycling, you know, just being present and pedaling and just going somewhere, you know, experiencing all of this, the happier I am, you know, I feel so fulfilled doing it. And there's no, you know, there's no bad things coming from it. Like, yeah, if you have a crash and it can end badly, um, but otherwise, you just grow, you know, you grow as a person, you get more experienced and you just feel better. It's, oh god, it's amazing, man. This, by the way, is my grandpa's bike. It's not working. I just put it as a filler. <laughs> the frame is gray. Um, otherwise, it should. <laughs> it's a piece of garbage. So yeah, go vegan, carve the fuck up, and get amongst it, man.